Hello, I'm Neil Screeton, owner of Screeton's Limited Chartered Accountants. Um, last week was the, uh, the summer budget, the first Conservative budget uh, for many years. Um, there were lots of, uh, lots of aspects to it which would affect small businesses. Today I'm just going to talk about a few of the aspects which uh, affect mainly owner-managed companies, um, of which there are thousands uh, in the UK. Um, the main the main thing that uh, the Chancellor did was to remove tax credits from dividends. Now, previously we've had a situation where, as long as you were a basic rate taxpayer, because of the effect of the tax credit, you wouldn't pay any tax on your dividend. However, he's now removed that. What he's done is partly replaced it with a £5,000 dividend allowance, so anybody can earn, can receive £5,000 worth of dividends without paying any tax. But after that, there will be a rate of tax of 7.5% for basic rate taxpayers and 32.5% for um, high rate taxpayers. Now, this is going to obviously have a big effect on the way that people take their money out of a company or, or at least it's going to affect the amount of tax that, uh, that, that people pay. Um, there are various things which might be done to mitigate this increase in tax and um, obviously if you've got questions about that then obviously please contact us, contact details at the end. Now this increase in dividend tax will be slightly offset um, by a reduction in the corporation tax rate from April 2017 that's going to drop from 20% down to 19% um, with uh, the promise of a further drop to 18%, but not until 2020. Um, now, given that the dividend tax will come in from April 16, there is obviously going to be um, an overlap of dividend tax and the previous high rate of corporation tax. Um, one little bit of good news for uh, smaller sort of limited companies is that the proposed drop in annual investment allowance to £25,000 per year has been scrapped and now there will be um, a £200,000 allowance for apparently the life of the Parliament. So that's good news for smaller companies who maybe buy lorries, bigger pieces of plant and equipment. Most of that should now be covered by the annual investment allowance. Um, so they were the main three things really affecting uh, smaller owner-managed limited companies. If you've got any questions about this, because this is going to affect most most small companies then please do get in touch with us um, info at screetons.co.uk 01827 715 264 www.screetons.co.uk thank you